On the, the Tuesday that the storm occurred, um, there was a potential for that storm to bring some lightning with it. So we were all on yard standby in Jembrook, which is the adjacent town. And then obviously as, as the day progressed, it became less lightning and more storm. The scale of damage was quite significant for the time frame that it happened in. So um, only a short amount of time and there was a lot of debris down on the roads. You would have thought the storm had been going all day that with the amount that was down. The area was quite unsafe with the hangars, especially over houses or over roads, walking track. There was a lot of work that needed to be done to remove some of the hazardous trees, just to clear access really. Wrights Forest Bushland Reserve is 160 hectares, so it's not very big. The quite a significant portion of that forest unit is what we call an asset protection zone. The risk of leaving the debris in the forest is that we're fuel loading a zone that really does have the potential to impact the private properties adjacent to the, to the forest. The park here is, is really heavily used by walkers and forms part of the Puff and Billy Rail Trail and also the Eastern Ranges Rail Trail. Our first response was to close the site due to public safety and then uh, obviously get in and, and start to clean that up and make the site safe for public. Yeah, so to get Wrights Forest open, we've used our own staff, we've also engaged external contractors, focusing on that tree risk. The first week helping out um, the SES up at Emerald, we got a lot of um, locals stopping just to say thank you, which was really quite nice and supportive, and then um, dealing with their landowners around here and stuff, um, having good chats with them, explaining what we're doing, and they were really nice and supportive for the work. So the community, the response work from community has been really, really good. So as part of that, they've been really supportive of us getting in, getting the site open, but also um, being really clever about how we manage the debris and don't just, just fuel load the, the APZs that are adjacent to their properties.